Okay, this is going to be our last video on maximum and minimum problems, so kind of the last real life one that's specifically just focusing in on these kind of problems. We might see them again, uh, and we'll definitely have to know how to solve them and kind of think of the theory behind it, but this is just one, the last video that's going to be specifically focusing on an example question. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different, so we're looking at kind of a businessy one instead of getting the area and volume, just because if that comes up, you'd want to have uh, seen it before because they're a little bit different. Okay, so I just wrote, wrote the, the question in bullet points instead of writing out all the information. All the information's here, but instead of writing out full sentences, so there's a company that sells TVs, okay? If they sell X TVs, then the price for buying a TV is going to be 440 minus 0.3x, okay? This is what we're given. Also, the cost of producing X TVs is equal to 6,000 plus 0.5x squared. Um, yeah, so if they sell loads and loads of TVs, then the price per TV is going to get smaller. And if they make loads and loads of TVs, obviously it's going to be more expensive to make them because you have to make more TVs. Okay, so hopefully that, that's all clear. We're going to use these formulas anyway. Uh, if they're not completely clear, it's not too hard to use them without totally getting exactly where they come from. Um, just presume that they're given and presume uh, that they're true basically for now. Okay, so the questions one, two, three, and four. So the first question is the revenue. You have to calculate the revenue, which is the money you get in. Okay, calculate how much money is taken in by the company when they sell their TVs. Um, number two is calculate the profit. So that's the revenue minus the cost because the money you get in minus the money you spend, that's going to be the amount of money you kind of make. Um, and then how many TVs gives the max profit? So how many TVs do you have to sell to get the maximum profit? And then what is that maximum profit? Okay, so first of all, just I want to, want to uh, clarify that the revenue and the profit, you won't be getting an answer for these just yet. You'll just be getting them in terms of X. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start question one. We'll do it in green here. So the revenue, the money taken in. So think about it. If you, uh, if you sell 10 TVs and each TV costs 10 euro, then you're going to make 100 euro. Yeah, because uh, 10 by 10 is going to be 100. So that's the way we're going to think about it is the, the price of each TV multiplied by how many TVs you sell. So if we sell X TVs, so I'm going to say or is going to be equal to the amount of TVs we sell, which is X, multiplied by the price of each TV, which is 440 minus 0.3x. Minus 0.3x. Okay, and then that's going to give us that or is equal to 440x minus 0.3x squared, okay? Um, hopefully that's clear. Number two then, uh, the profit. So the profit is gonna be the revenue minus the cost, okay? So the revenue, so I'm gonna say P is equal to, ooh, no, that's an or, let me get rid of this. P is equal to or minus C. So we already have or here, and we have C up here. So I'm gonna write then that P is equal to 440x minus 0.3x squared minus, um, and what's the profit, or sorry, the cost is given by 6,000 plus 0.5x squared, 6,000 plus 0.5x squared, okay? Here's our profit is going to be given by 4440x minus 0.3x squared, it's going to be minus 6,000 and minus 0.5x squared. So don't forget that second minus there, if it's minus and then a bracket, you have to do minus 6,000 and minus 0.5x squared. So then our P is gonna be given by minus 6,000 plus 440x minus 0.8x squared, okay? So I just wrote the 440x in the middle here, so again, it looks like a quadratic, okay? Let's put a little box around that. Ooh. Okay, well, let's see that was bad. I'll do one more box quickly. Move my space. There we go. So that's our profit. So that's part two done. Now, how many TVs gives the maximum profit? Okay, so again, if we look back to our steps, the first one, this is it, getting, this is, I guess, step one and step two, was getting the equation in terms of one variable. Now, step three, uh, it's in a different color. Mix it up a little bit. Step three is going to be differentiated. So that means dp dx, and we're going to say we differentiate it, is going to be equal to, so this is going to go to zero. It's going to be 440 minus 1.6x, because 2 by 0 0.8 will be 1.6. And we're going to let that equal to zero. Okay. And 
we'll go down a little bit more. So that means 440 is going to be equal to 1.6x. And we're going to write that this way. 1.6x is equal to 440. And that means x is going to be equal to 275. Okay, so that's the amount of TVs you have to sell to get a maximum profit. So you can always think that. So that's a function of profit. If we say dp dx is equal to zero, that we're going to find the turning point. So like that, we're going to find this little turning point there. And that's also called the local maximum. So that'll give us the maximum profit. Okay, let's get rid of those three. Uh, so that's part three done. That's the amount of TVs you need to sell to find that maximum profit. And the last bit is, what is that maximum profit? So that's just going to sub, uh, we'll do it in red. Okay, so part four is going to be, we're just going to sub this value here into our uh, function for, for profit. It's going to be equal to minus 6,000 plus, sorry, there should be another zero there, 6,000 plus 440 by 275 minus 0 0.8 by 275 squared, okay? Our profit then is going to be given by, I'll give it in euro, 500, no, there we go, 54,500. And there is our answer. Okay, so I think these ones with um, money are a little bit easier, but it's again, it's, it's sometimes a little bit confusing if you haven't done business or anything for the leaving cert or junior cert. Um, so go through it one more time. So the revenue is the money you take in, the profit is going to be your revenue minus your cost, and how many TVs. Uh, gives you maximum profit, you're going to have to differentiate it. So again, revenue is the amount that you sell by how much you sell each one by. Uh, and then this is our function for profit. Differentiate it, let it equal to zero, and then find our maximum profit. So again, hopefully I didn't go through that the summary too quickly, but um, yeah, hopefully that all made sense. And we're going to see you next time to look at more fun calculus.